As more vaccines become available, doctors are stepping up their messaging to make sure everyone knows they're safe and effective. We've got to do a lot of work on our part to really overcome some of those messages that are being given out. Dr. Ozzie Granardo sits on the Colorado Vaccine Equity Task Force and is the Chief Diversity and Inclusion Officer for Centura. He's focused his work on making sure all communities have access to vaccines and accurate information about them. There is an incredible need to get that vaccine into those communities of color so that they can start to live the life that they should. When we talk about vaccines, we often focus on their limitations. You hear a vaccine is 95% effective or 65% effective and that you still have to wear a mask and social distance. But doctors want you to focus on this part. They are all nearly 100% effective in preventing death and very effective at preventing hospitalizations. That could lead us to a place where we start to say, yes, we're in a position to actually not have to use masks or social distance. We're not there yet. Um, so it's still incredibly important to do those things. Vaccines don't save lives. Vaccinations save lives. So the messaging is perhaps the most important part of getting people vaccinated and saving those lives. You've heard us talk about the rare adverse reactions to the vaccines, but here's the data from the CDC. From the first 55 million doses administered, less than 0.2% of people experienced an adverse reaction. Nine health expert Dr. Pyle Coley says messaging around the vaccine from experts must be more positive. The intention of the messaging was to be conservative. It was meant to say, oh, let's you know, continue to keep doing the things we're doing until we all get vaccinated. But unfortunately, that has somehow morphed into people perceiving that the vaccine is not as effective or that it doesn't work. As the messaging shifts, the challenge with supply continues. As we get vaccine that meets the demand, we will be golden. In Denver, I'm Mark Salinger, 9 News.